One way to make magnetic fields is with electricity. You may have heard of electromagnets. And here I have an electromagnet that's five turns of copper tubing. And what I'm going to do is charge a capacitor back here. It's a little like a battery. And then discharge it into this copper tubing and make a large magnetic field. And so before I do that, I want to take this little orange crush can, put it down in the magnetic field, in the coil, and then I'll begin charging it. And let me put my safety goggles on, and I will charge it up. And you can see from this meter on the front that it is charging up, and it's at about 3,000 volts right now. And I'm going to charge it to about 5,000 volts. And then I'm going to discharge it into that can. Now, this makes a little bit of noise, so I don't want it to scare you. But if noises bother you, you might want to put your fingers in your ears. So is everyone ready? Here we go. And look what it did to the can. It crushed the can. And that shows you how a magnetic field can squeeze something that's an electrical conductor. And I remind you that aluminum is not normally attracted to a magnet. But it became a magnet momentarily when the electric current was induced in it. Now, would you like to see that again? Yeah. OK, except for one slight difference. Let's see. Not you. Excuse me. You play baseball? OK, here's your chance to be a star baseball player. Because this time, we're going to use a 7-up can. And we're going to put it on top of the coil, like so. And I'll put my safety goggles on. We will charge it up again. Is everyone ready? So we're at about 5,000 volts. Is everyone ready? Here we go. Oh, <laughs> 